action. We are live. Woohoo, exciting. So you've got Mel and my wonderful guest today, whom I've never met before, which makes it even more exciting, is Megan Dreyfus and uh, Lande, Megan Dreyfus Lande. And uh, you yeah. just got married. When did you get married? Exactly. Exactly. When? I just got married in Corona time. Um, so I got married in France in March, the 5th of March. So at the border of the Italian and French uh, uh, city. I didn't know what was coronavirus back then. We were the last wedding in the civil, uh, civil wedding in France. And then uh, I came to Israel um, because I'm married to an Israeli. And we had to wait a couple of months until we can have 50 people in our garden so we can party. <laughs> so uh, I hope that soon you'll be able to have 500 people. Oh, I mean, we already got married, so it's a very small thing. We had okay. the Rav, the Minyan, not more than that, you know? Uh, okay. My family, I don't need a big party. I need my husband and I have him every day. So that's amazing. <laughs> you could have five people at the wedding then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we can party as well. I am I mean, I'm just waiting for a big party just after Corona because every, everyone needs it, I guess. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm too old to join you, but I mean, we can spread the word. Hundreds of people are going to watch this. <laughs> so everybody, Megan is throwing a end of Corona wedding party right. and you're all <laughs> invited. Everyone who got the vaccine can <laughs> come. No problem. The two of Absolutely. Tu parles français aussi, n'est-ce pas? As well. As well. Yeah. Okay, so uh, but we we start with our jingle. I'm jingle. I'm gonna forget I'm gonna forget the jingle. Can't start without the jingle. Are you ready? I'm ready. Is the world ready? Off your feet, we move, we groove. You got Mel. Ease your legs, rest a while. All you gotta do is smile. We're swell, can't you tell? You got Mel. When the show begins, you better hold on real tight. Or before you know it, you'll be high as a kite. Take a break, settle down. We're the only show in town. It's our own, don't you know? You got Mel. Give it up, don't think twice. We're a hurricane on ice. What the hell? Give it yell, ring your bell, show and tell. Mademoiselle, give a smell. You got Mel. I you love it. Mel. I think and you thank can, you. Uh, you can call it You've Got Meg as well. <laughs> I've got Meg as well. Yeah. <laughs> Mel and Meg. Exactly. So, so um, you're on the show because you have an incredible um, initiative, a, a company. Uh, in just a couple of sentences, what do you do? So um, we launched uh, four years ago with uh, Jeremy Berebi. Haridi with 16 kids and Avner Maman, a, a Ranana, a French born entrepreneur with his a beautiful family living in Israel and myself. We launched. Yeah, send send out there my regards. It, yeah, well, I was just having a call with him just before with you. <laughs> um, and basically, we decided to focus on helping new immigrants and refugees and minorities in general to get into the high tech world. Um, in, and not just, you know, as a customer service or a marketer, but also as a developer. My main inspiration, we talked a lot about him, is my husband. Um, so basically my husband is Israeli. He has a little particularity of being deaf and he learned how to code uh, thanks to a coding bootcamp. And also because he has the right mindset. So I decided to get, you know, inspired from him and understand what was this winning mindset so I can give it to my students. And we developed this method with Avner and Jeremy. And today we're super proud to be elected the 31st best bootcamp in the world. Wow. <laughs> in the world? In the world, yeah. It's by switchup.org. It's like the trip advisor, but for coding bootcamps. You can check on internet. No, I, I, first of all, I believe you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and for my French customers, dans le monde entier. Dans le monde entier. Okay, so that's wonderful. Uh, so uh, how many people are you teaching to code these days? We're teaching around, so thanks to Corona, we grew up, we grow a lot. A lot of people are, you know, you hear a lot of stories of how Corona impacted your business negatively. Well, it impacted me positively. Why? Food, food, food. But because 
by sitting in my, you know, my desk in my living room, I could talk to the entire world. And we succeed to open five branches of Developers Institute during the COVID. So uh, we opened four branches in Africa, thanks to uh, the Misra uh, Khut, so the Ministry of Exterior. We mm -hmm. work a lot with ambassadors on site. So we work in Cameroon, Burkina Faso, Senegal, and Mali. And we also open in Mexico uh, and uh, in uh, Georgia, very, in Georgia, very soon in this city. And I think you should be a politician. <laughs> Thank you. I don't I like think... politics. No, but you didn't answer my question. Oh, sorry. How many? No, it's okay. How many okay. people? <laughs> okay, so it's around right now. We have about a hundred students studying with us. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. How many? How many are men and how many are women? We try to have as as much as women as we can because you know naturally when the woman is the when the CEO is a woman you want to have a lot of women so I guess we have about thirty percent of women we have about twenty percent of Haredim um, we Haredim is the ultra orthodox yeah exactly um, one of my best students so far I will call him G. He actually studied seven years in the yeshiva. He never went to normal school, as you know, and he came to our boot camp. And all the other students were actually jealous. They told me that I should not accept someone with previous experience. And I told them that this guy didn't have a previous experience except yeshiva. And then we realized that the way we teach in yeshiva is really close to the where we teach coding and peer-to-peer -peer review and stuff like this, you know? Okay, I, I don't want to send people to yeshiva, um, so we'll say go straight to Megan's school. Exactly, exactly. So, and, 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 and um, do you also code? Actually, you want a secret? I'm not the best coder. No, I code, okay. but I'm not the best coder. I used to work for Google. I used to work for Criteo. I, I saw that. <laughs> I, I had a really good career because I was interested into coding and I understood what you can do with coding, but be, there are many jobs as well that you can do by having a little knowledge of coder. Just by knowing coding, you can do a numerous amount of, of jobs. You don't have to be a good coder. That's what I want to say. So yes, I code, but not, I'm not a good coder. <laughs> okay. So, um, so you're not the person to go to for full stack development. I am the person to go to. My ah, job okay. is basically, I know by experience, we've been open for five years already. And I have a school, I have a school with 4,000 students in France. So uh -huh. even if I look young, I have a lot of experience into recruiting full stack developers. I can tell you that um, we are teaching a very special way. We teach a way based on the mindset. Basically, what I'm checking with every student before coming to us is if you have enough motivation, resilience, and benevolence. Everything else, it's my job. It's my job to teach you how to code. So if you are interested in that, just PM me. Okay, so uh, for all the people now who uh, want to have a, uh, a change and perhaps make a very good living. And the other thing that I understood is you don't just teach and leave the people. Yeah. You try and place them afterwards. Exactly. So many things. The first thing is, first of all, we uh, ask the students to stay with us for three months. Okay. It's all day long or every morning, for example, for everyone who needs to work or take care of the kids in the afternoon. Then after these three months where we give you more than 400 hours of content, um, we place you into an unpaid internship. So you can have your first experience and your first line in the CV. It's only two months. So you really have to work hard and make sure that you prove yourself. After yes, that, that, that's very, that's so important. It is. It's the most important thing. The reason why we can do that. It's and, and, and yeah, sorry. Tell me. Tell me. And, oh. and all this, and all this is absolutely free. It's not free. No. Ah, However, free. you can have a lot of scholarship for that. <laughs> So how much does it cost for the three months? So we have two programs. We have one which is cost 26,000 shekel. The other one cost 16,000 shekel. And we have a scholarship for everyone. So no, no matter what's your story, we have a scholarship for you. We have scholarship for new immigrants. We work with the Misrad Aklita, the Ministry of Integration. We have scholarship with Kharidim. 
We work with Kiren uh, Teshuva, we work with Kivun and Mafteach, those organizations helping the integration of Haredim into the, the ITEC. We work as well with refugees. We work with people getting advantage from the government, so the Lishkat Atasuka, the unemployment office. And we also have an excellency scholarship for anyone who, does, who fell between the gaps. So no, we but have a Megan, it's a lot of money to take for somebody who's down and out and doesn't have a job in this corona. Exactly. That's you know, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching people now for, for $30 uh, exactly. a lesson. I um, understand. It's but difficult we, times. Exactly. That's why we won a 3 million shekel scholarship, a 3 million shekel fund that we use only for scholarship. And Wonderful. I can, yeah, I can tell you that 95% of my students are getting at least 50% of scholarships. Okay, <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah. Now you're talking. Okay, <clears throat> we finished the boring stuff. Let's talk about you. Yeah. Tell us about your life. Um, so I'm an Ola Chadasha. I'm a new immigrant from France. I have a little particularity of living in seven different countries. Um, I lived many, lived in my, many lives in my life. I'm passionate about music. I love, love sport. I've recently lost more than 25 kilos. I think that um, that's one of the most interesting things I've done in my life. And um, I just really enjoy helping every of my students. That's my main, I would say, passion. Okay. Um, you lost 25 kilos. Yeah. I do. Hmm. I have, you know, like a lot of women out there, we have a lot of thyroid issues. And your thyroid sometimes yeah. is impacting on your health, on your heart, on your body, on your weight. And five years ago, I was uh, managing a really successful company in Paris. But I was, I was sad because I didn't have, you know, um, I didn't know where I wanted to build my life. I was overweight and I didn't know how to get from there, you know. So I met my coach, who is an amazing guy and really gave me the love of sport. And um, three years later, I won. He's, my a, he's a lovely guy, but you married somebody else. No, he's a coach. He's a coach. He's, oh, right. I'm paying him in order for him to yell at me when I run. That's his okay. job. <laughs> that, husbands do that for free, you know? Yeah, well, my husband is a gamer. He is not a sport man. <laughs> and basically, um, I ran my first triathlon and I won my first triathlon uh, two years ago, just before the COVID. I was the third one in my before, career. Before your diet or after your diet? After my diet, come on. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, I What's really a, enjoyed it. A full triathlon? No. It's a sprint one. So basically it's ah. five kilometers running, two kilometers swimming and mm -hmm. uh, 60 kilometers biking. All that's, together. Still, that's still incredible. That's one of my passion now. I can tell you that today I get up early twice a week just to have a swim in the sea. Even now I swam this morning and that was amazing. I saw the biggest jellyfish. I saw tons of fish. The water is super calm. It's a bit cold. But if you swim easy, it's a lovely moment. I can tell you. It also it's, it's, it makes it, it's a nice day for the fish when they see you swimming. Yeah, they're like, As, oh. When, 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 when they have coffee, they say, oh, I saw this crazy human being in February <laughs> yeah. swimming. Yeah, especially because we look a bit scary. You know, we have this wet suit from here. It's just a pass. Yeah. <laughs> what is it going on? Yeah. So, and, and, uh, and tell us a little bit about your youth. You grew up in Paris where? No, I grew up in Lyon, actually. It's ah, a I know Lyon. Oh, you know Lyon? Yeah, well, yeah. I've been there. You, we actually have a really good jazz festival in Vienne, next to Lyon, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, I'm a musician as well. I played yeah. 12 years the piano. Um, I love Chopin. That's my uh, secret lover. Don't tell my husband. You um, love? Chopin. Chopin? How do you say in English? Ah, Chopin. Yeah. yeah. I'm a bit passionate about... My favorite one is... Mm, valses from Chopin, the mazurka, mazurka, you say in, in French, in English, yeah. and uh, Nocturne, Nocturne op Opus Tasia is the best one. Do you want to play it for us now? I don't have my piano. I brought it to my sister who is in Bidud. <laughs> my piano is right here. I wish. I, I miss my, I have like a, a cent, uh, you know, how do you call it, like electric piano, yeah. uh, Nova, not so bad, but I really miss my good piano, my real piano. So uh, what were you like as a, uh, as a kid in uh, Lyon? 
I was uh, at the Tsofim, I was a scout for 10 years. <laughs> I was playing the piano. I was not really the most sociable person um, because I was all the time in my world, you know? Um, I think I, I had a traumatic experience when I was 11 and for many years, I really thought it was uh, something, you know, to punish me. To tell you in short, I survived a bombing attack in Spain. And for many years, I told myself, why is it happening to me? What's going on? One second, one second. What do you mean you survived the bombing attack? So basically, I was the last one coming out the hotel and the hotel bombed. And um, that was from back then, you know, you had the in the Basque area. Yeah. Uh, you know what it is? Yeah. Yeah. It's called ETA. It's like uh, the nicest terrorist group I probably met because they called before saying that there is a bomb in the hotel. So we were lucky enough to uh, flee the hotel before the bomb popped. The bad part is that they said it in Spanish and none of us were speaking Spanish. So the time we understand what's going on, <laughs> we basically uh, understood later what it means to um, get out in Spanish, basically. And for many years, I told myself, why this is happening to me. Um, you know, it was just before 9-11. Uh, the, the world was not still ready to uh, deal and talk with kids about terrorist attack. And then I realized that basically you have two lives. And the second one uh, basically starts when you understand the, the, then the first one finished. And I was lucky enough when I was 11 to understand that I have another life to enjoy. And this is the reason why I traveled so much. And I really, live my life like every single day is my last one and if i can you know just convince the biggest amount of people to do the same i can tell you it will make a, a world a better place <laughs> that's incredible that's my story yeah that's quite a good story what did you study in university <clears throat> uh, actually i was not a really good kid at school i was not a really good kid at school yeah sorry um, I tried, I wanted to be a doctor, but a medical doctor, but I never really got the psychometry in France. So I got into a private university um, and I was a member of the Catholic University for five years. And I have a, a diploma of the Catholic University of uh, Business Administration and Logistics. I was even lucky enough to study one year in the Vatican um, at the University of Rome, the Catholic University of Rome. And it was amazing. So, so yeah, um, not connected. So, uh, I know. Oh, okay. Can you pray now in uh, in Latin? Uh, no, I actually. <clears> the, <throat> sorry, the first it, day. It, 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 yeah? you're, you're you're kind of Jewish, you know. I am totally Jewish. <laughs> I'm Dreyfus, you know. Yeah. Um, it's very French fam famous Jewish French name. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, you're not connected to uh, to uh, the famous uh, Albert Dreyfus. I guess I am. It's Alfred, but I guess Alfred. I am. Yes, Alfred. Yeah. You're you're related to Alfred Dreyfus? I guess. Yeah. Basically, my dad was born. That, in that's a good reason for having you on the show. <laughs> As well. There are many reasons for me to be here, I guess. <laughs> well, now's the time, you know, because yeah. Um, so my dad is born, uh, was born in Alsace-Lorraine, which Alsace -Lorraine. is the land between um, uh, France and Germany. Um, my great-grandfather used to serve into the uh, German army during the World War I. Um, and we come from the same area than Dreyfus. Um, basically, Dreyfus means in German, three feet, dry foot, Fuss, you know. So uh, probably we had an ancestor with a cane or, you know, someone coming from this area with a cane or having some issue walking. So that's probably why we called him Dreyfus. But yeah, we are probably related. That's uh, incredible. <laughs> I, and, I'm uh, very proud of my family. Yes, and you should be. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and what else uh, don't we know about you? Oh, um, I don't know. There is, uh, I'm, I'm a good cook. Uh, that's probably my French side. I um, enjoy um, cooking meals and I really, really enjoy uh, doing roller skating as well. Um, so yeah, that's my, that's my story. I, I, the the uh, reason why I feel that I needed to come to Israel is because I really feel like I can help a lot of people to find their 
inner uh, reason, you know, to develop their company. I helped, re I helped create more than 200 companies in my career in France and in Israel because I'm passionate about entrepreneurship. And I strongly believe that if I did what I'm doing to, if I did what I'm doing today, if I created this company, everyone else can do it. Uh, because I don't have, you know, the nice, the best memory or because I'm not the most clever person, I always write down everything I do and I give around, you know, cheat sheets to people. So I have tons of cheat sheets on my Google Drive for anything, you know, it starts from how to cook a fish to how to raise a company and, and you know, uh, let, raise some money for it. So um, that's my uh, particularity, I guess. Yes. Well, you know that the we have a uh, an e-publishing house okay and you're welcome to 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 publish all of these things on our website we Thank would you. love I it i published a, a book on kickstarter we raised more than 200k euro in uh, france uh it's called the livre de la jungle in french so the jungle book because the my company in france is called lion uh, the idea is that I realized that a lot of people would love to work into a startup, but in the university world or the, you know, um, school world in general doesn't prepare you to be a good startup employee. You have a lot of training to become a coder. You have a lot of training to become an entrepreneur. You have a lot of training to become an investor, but no one is actually explaining you how to be a startup employee. So for three years, I talked with more than 500 entrepreneurs. I asked them, why are you good? Exactly like you did. What is your special thing? And I wrote down every, everything and I made a book out of it, which is called the book of the, the Livre de la Jungle, the book of the jungle. Uh, it's, in it's in French, yes. And it's quite big. And, quel, quel dommage. Yes, I know. Um, we, have to, we have to translate it. Yeah, we have to do it in Israel. In Israel, there is a company doing something very similar to what I do in France. It's called Jolt. And if you are interested in those things, I really advise you to go there and follow them on, Insta on Instagram or Facebook. And I would love to share a lot of content with you for your website, for sure. Yes, that would be awesome. And I have a feeling that you could probably help me. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Please let me know. Let's do like a one-on-one -on -one and let's see what we can do. Okay. <laughs> And, what, um, what can I help you with? Um, you're helping me already. You're giving ah. me the opportunity to be on the stage and talk about my program. Um, okay. That's amazing. That's wonderful. <laughs> um, so um, other than Chopin, what other music do you like? Um, I really enjoy jazz. Um, I think I, I love Ella and Luis. Ella Fitzgerald and Luis Armstrong are like my brothers i guess i'm so connected to them um and i really enjoy as well to learn new languages i love to use music for example i speak perfectly hebrew thanks to rami kleinstein and as you know um every ari kleinstein obviously every single songwriters that are sharing a nice vision and you know using nice words this is how i learn my hebrew and thanks to this technique, I speak five languages now. So that's also, I use music to learn something new. This, this is something that I also do. Amazing. What do you do exactly? No, this show is about you. I, um, I do too many things. But well, I, 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 what I agree with you is that um, is music is a language. And, and languages are music. Yeah. You know, and, and, and really, you just need to learn one song. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that grace is a man, and that's what I'm saying. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say. Nice. Is this yes, Portuguese? And, Portuguese. Amazing. And, 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 you know, every, every language has its own song. Yeah. The most important, uh, the most interesting thing is when you study Chinese. I studied eight years Chinese. And actually you realize that just the way, the intonation of the way they say the words, for example, the word ma, you know, if you say ma, 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 it means five different things. And one means uh, horse, the other one means cannabis, the other one means question mark, and the last one means mama. So you don't want to do like, you want to make sure that you're saying the right intonation. 
And by living with someone deaf who doesn't hear an accent, but he sees it on your face, my husband can actually see an accent on someone's face. He always makes fun of me because I'm French. I always move my nose. He said, you always use your nose. So when I realized that now I can see an accent and thanks to my husband, I actually see them now. I can work on my Hebrew uh, using the different muscles on my face to have a better or worse accent. And that's like a game for me. You're going from one side of your brain to the other one. Yeah, that's uh, that's wonderful, Thank you. and I I think that the, I think that you're right. Okay. What's so it? so so how did well because no I agree that the music and language are interconnected. Yeah. And and it's a great way to learn the language is through through songs. Exactly. Uh, many Israelis learned English through songs of the Beatles, songs that they love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The best way, I think, the best takeaway would be if, for example, you want to learn a new language, take uh, five or ten songs on the same topic. So let's say about love, you know, you have a lot of songs, a lot of love songs. And the first song you're going to take, try to learn five words from this song. On the second song that you're going to read, try to understand or, you know, see where are the five words you just learned and learn five other words. And by the end of the 10th song, you will have, you will probably understand 70 or 80% of the song, and you will also have a lot of vocabulary. Incredible. That's my technique. So, and, and, and before I ask you to sing. Um, no, I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> do you wanna bet? Uh, you can sing for me. I'm not a good singer. I'm good. No, but, but look, so the only thing that I want to teach you is that everybody is a good singer. Okay. And singing is fun. And music is fun. We just talked about this for seven minutes. And you're telling me that you don't want to sing because what? You're afraid that somebody might say I something, will, that there's some jazz police. I will, I will sing. But if you, have, sing. if you have some uh, uh, private message saying that that was the worst singer of your show, I'm not taking any responsibility. For no, that. But, but the whole, you can't be the worst singer in in this show trust me um there's a few people that have already won the medal but there, there, there's no such thing as a worst singer there's only people who won't sing because singing is so beautiful that's very true I I've, just, I've just written a children's book about this I and how and how poor, important it is to ignore what other people say or what you think other people say I just to, just to sing in your own voice before that though so how did you meet your husband? He, he sounds incredible. I met my husband on Tinder. <laughs> wow, you're you're a woman of surprises. I knew you didn't expect that. Yeah, I met my husband on Tinder. No, because I don't know what Tinder is, but I'm sure it's something very interesting. On your face, I can see you know what it is. Basically, it's an application. <laughs> it's an application. Where Again, you... everybody knows what Tinder is. <laughs> So the you, best part you, was to explain that to my grandmother. <laughs> or maybe not to explain it to your grandmother. Yes. So where, where did you meet him in t on Tinder? So basically, I was coming back to Israel um, after my first idea. So I made my first idea seven years ago. And then I got hired by Google. So I, I moved in Ireland. That's why I do have an Irish accent. And um, I came back later because I really wanted my family to grow in Israel. I didn't have, you know, a, a boyfriend or any serious relationship. So I, I knew that it was here, you know, sometimes a feeling. And um, I had just done now the application and I was uh, going out with a guy and I didn't really enjoy going out with him. So I break up with him and I said, you know what? You will take the first guy who is inviting you to have a coffee. You know, like, because we tend to judge people based on their profile or what they do in life or what they tell you. But it's really difficult to exchange with someone over a message application. You want to feel, and sometimes it's better to have a 20 minute coffee. You know, if it's not, if it's going or if it's not going right. So I said, you know what, let's do this. And then for, um, after a couple of uh, chat on the application, I offered him uh, to go for a drink and, and we fell in love. Ah, I thought he was somebody going to invite you to coffee and you invited him 
Uh, actually, I think he invited me. And Sorry, it, wasn't, invited. it wasn't a coffee, it was a drink. It, it was a cocktail, I agree. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, you keep changing the stories. I know, sorry. No, and, Ian, uh, I didn't and, 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 I, and I love that. <laughs> it's you're, just you're, like, it's five years ago. It's a lot. <laughs> Four years ago. <laughs> you're, you're a born storyteller. Um, I think so, yeah. So, okay. So, and every time I'll have you on the show, you'll have another story for the same episode. And that's, oh. also, that's also good. <laughs> so, um, so, what song would you like to sing for us? Um, you can sing um, something in French. You can sing a song of Ella and Louis. You can sing okay. a Beatles song. A Beatles song. I can say, I sing "Birds Flying High" if you want. Okay, Birds I don't know this song. Yes, you know. It's probably not. Let me just get the uh, the lyrics. Okay. Okay, I got it. Um, lyrics. Should I sing now? Well, the show is going to be over in three minutes, so I'm thinking perhaps yes. Oh, okay. So let's go. Um, birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Should I continue? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're terrific. Fish in the sea, you know how I feel. River running free, you know how I feel. Blossom on the tree, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Dun, 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 dun. I need someone to play with me. I'm feeling so good. Dragon wow. fire in the sun, you know what I mean, don't you know? But if I old having fun, you know what I mean. Steep and peace and they're down. You know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Wow. <laughs> Incroyable. Merci. You sing, <laughs> you, you, sing, <laughs> you sing. No, no, no. I'm not going to sing on your show. It, it's you're, you're you're terrific. I, I, I practice. I have a ukulele. I play ukulele as well. So. Where's your ukulele? Upstairs. I can next guess. time. Yes. <laughs> there's a song that I love on ukulele. Which one? Ukulele lady. I don't know this one. So I will if check you it out. Come back. Like to ukulele lady, ukulele lady, like you. If you like to linger where it's shady, ukulele lady linger too. If you find another number do then, and you promise never to be true, and you find another ukulele laid in hand and round with you, and so on. Oh shit, I sang on my own show. Okay, so listen, it, I, 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 um, I took a chance on interviewing you because I don't know you. Yeah. Um, and you oh, are, Jonathan. you're marvelous and incredible. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure that you'll do a lot of good in the country if you haven't already. <laughs> um, and we, the world needs a bright eyed young people like you. Thank you. And I love your spirit. Thank and, you so much. And I love yes, your show. I, and yes, I do need your help. I'm here. Let's have a chat after that. No problem. Yeah, but you're going to have to um, initiate it. No problem. I will talk to you then. Let's meet on Thursday. Okay, absolutely. Well. So uh, thank you very much for being on You've Got Mel. Thank you, Good Mel. Good luck with your new business. Thank you. Thank and, you so much. Uh, and regards. And maybe next time we'll also bring your husband on the show. Let's do it. No problem. Okay. Thank you so much. Continue your show. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. Dreyfus Lande. You're welcome. Bye, Mel. Bye.